Add key light. And then position it. Now I'm going to add four color gradient to make it look smoother for the environment like it's really there. And then choose blending mode and select soft light. And now I'm going to add brightness and contrast. Now for making shadows, I'm going to use bevel alpha. It's important to have the light angle facing the light layer on the thickness and intensity. And now copy paste the animation, delete every effect other than key light. And now add CC light sweep. Direction facing the light source. Copy the rest of the settings from me. And we will add deep glow. It doesn't really matter if it's deep glow 2 or deep glow. This is a glow. Change the deep glow settings to your liking. It doesn't really have a precise setting for it. And the lighting is down. Now we will add glow to the eyes. Copy paste animation, delete every effect, rotoscope it. If you don't know how to, just follow what I do. Rotoscope is done, now I will add deep glow. Change the glow settings to your liking, it doesn't really matter. And the main animation is done. Now I will add brightness and contrast to the background so it looks more natural. After doing that, I will add CC light rays. To add CC light rays, I will make an adjustment layer placed on top and put the center to the light source. In, in this case, it's the lamp. You can change the light color to your liking, but in this case, I will use white because the environment is white. Now I will add, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's CC Vignet. <laughs> I really don't know how to fucking say it. Make sure the center is near the light source so it looks realistic. You can see the difference it makes by around its settings. And the last one is the smoke. All the materials I use is in my bio join please animations and backgrounds of my recent edits are there it's very good channel just join i think now i will remap the smoke because it's so slow to do that right click smoke time time remap and change the left keyframe to a much more high value and that's it that's what i do most of the time if it's really a rare scene or something special this is my composition i will show you a cool trick for the uncolored black and white manga animations you can change the color if it doesn't even have a color you can just go and s tint it you can also add drop shadow effect to the animation i don't do it most of the time because i forget it but if you don't you can add it and here's the result <laughs> 